Hey guys and welcome back to a modern RPG. Because recently I was contacted by Panny Lines, the publisher of the ever wonderful Shadow of Mog RPG, which I covered before on the channel. Which, although I can understand some people didn't really like the politics of the game, it had some wonderful rules taking a board game aesthetic to role playing games. Really, really innovative, a really, really great game. Now he got in contact with me about his new game, Salvage Union. And Unfortunately, he got in contact with me just before Christmas when I was really, really busy. Um, I had some stuff going on and basically I missed his email until the very last second because he contacted me because they were running a Kickstarter for this new Salvage Union role-playing game. And I only picked up the email the very last day of the Kickstarter. So I managed to put in for the Kickstarter, but it was too late for me to put out a video asking news. But I got in contact with Panny and asked him about it. And he says there will be a way of you pre-purchasing the game and getting into the Kickstarter again before the game launches because it's not due out until late this year. But in speaking to him, he doesn't want me to go over the rules because they are modifying the rules. But he'll let me know later in the day and there might be another uh, quick start version of the rules for me to look through then. But... He did say it was useful for me to have a look through the game, bring attention to it, and I really like the look of it. So, let's have a look at the book. Now, the front cover I find very reminiscent of the Haynes manuals. You know, the books on how to fix your car. But they've also brought out various science fiction ones. For example, I've got the Star Wars Rebel Starfighter one here, and the YT-1300 manual. Oh, hold it where people can see it. Now... I love that look. It's very beaten up, as if it's been sitting in a garage. I was brought up with two older brothers who fixed cars all the time and had beat up Haynes manuals. So this brings back memories to me. But it looks absolutely great. But let's flick to the back cover. So, Salvage Union is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game where you play as a scrappy band of mech pilots known as Salvagers, who range into the wastes on the hunt for precious salvage. The Salvage Union Quick Start contains everything you need to get into the action, including the core rules, pre-made pilots and mechs, and a simple scenario. The full Salvage Union game will be presented in a 300 page, or 300 plus page, A5 full colour hardback book. So it's going to be a hardback book, but it's going to be A5, so it's not going to be this size, it's going to be this size. It's going to be one of the smaller ones. But that's a nice kind of pocket size. I think it's going to look good. The full book will contain 20 plus mech chassis to control and customize, 12 plus pilot classes to pick and customize, detailed setting information fleshing out the world of Salvage Union, the core rules to run and play Salvage Union, a multitude of abilities across both your pilots and mechs, a slew of weapons, systems and modules to kit out and customize your mechs with, a fully fleshed out scenario with maps to play, rules for campaign play for lengthier sessions based around surviving into the wastelands, Mission play rules designed for smaller campaigns, one-shots and narrative focus sessions. Tools for the mediators such as encounter tables to design and run their games. Full mech building and customization rules. A bestiary of monsters, biotitans, humanoid warriors of the waste as well as corpo NPC mechs. Lots more artwork of the Salvage Union setting including mechs, biotitans, pilots, landscapes and more. And then there's the QR code for the Kickstarter down the bottom there. And that's kind of detailing what it is. Let's have a look through and I'll discuss at the end what I've, I'm thinking. So inside we've got the credits. This is a beta release. All content is subject to change. Well, as Panny told me, they're thinking about modifying the rules slightly because they're playtesting, which is only a good thing. I don't want them to be too static. Uh, I'd love to go over the rules with you, but Panny asked me not to, so I'm not going to go into that much detail. Inside you can see some of the lovely artwork. Um, the world's a quiet place now. The thrum of the reactor, hiss of a radio, the whistling of the wind. That's the company I like to keep out in the wastes. But until you find something worth having, then all hell breaks you loose. Welcome to the Union. Salvage Union is a tabletop role-playing game where you play as a ragtag group of mech pilots who make ends meet by salvaging scrap within the post-apocalyptic wastelands. The pilots known as salvagers live on a huge mech called a Union Crawler, which houses their entire community. Um, the setting, Salvage Union is set on a post-apocalyptic world similar to Earth a few hundred years in the future. A series of great wars scarred the Earth, but rapidly progressing technology. 
Advanced nuclear fission was developed, allowing for the creation of mechs, titanic walking armoured behemoths powered by nuclear reactors and piloted by those skilled or reckless enough to wade them into battle. A combination of global warming, deforestation, pollution, nuclear fallout and numerous scars of war has made most of the current world a bleak shadow of its former self. The people who are left and known as Wastelanders eke out are living in small scattered settlements across the wastelands. A single wastelander settlement may only have access to one mech, which is vital for survival, as one of the few means to tra sa travel safely in the wastes. Some of the luckiest and wealthiest citizens of the world live in corporate arcologies, or arcos, these great spire-shaped fortress communities that dot the landscape. Each of them is run by a different corporation or corpo, and form a fragmented oligarchy that rules over the world. They hold the majority of the wealth, resources, and arable land that remains, and continually hunger to spread their power and influence. With access to powerful tech and weapons of war, they are a ruthless and powerful threat. Resistance are formed in the shape of the Salvage Unions, a collective band of workers, salvagers, pilots, and free spirits from all walks of life. They oppose the authoritarian rule of the corpos, forming their own self-sufficient communities with enormous mechs known as Union Crawlers. From these walking home bases, they range out into the waste with a hodgepodge of scrap-built mechs. While there's no match for a well-armed corpo lance, they can triumph through their grit, determination, and cunning. So that's the setting. The world's become polluted, there's been wars, it's wrecked, it's post-apocalyptic, but not a Mad Max post-nuclear war as such, because the environment's been strained through overuse. If you imagine... Amazon wrecking the world, using up all its resources, and then having Amazon cities left. Doesn't sound so fantastical to me. Sounds quite realistic. And people are using the technology they salvage from the remains of the old civilization to fight back, to steal the scraps from the large corporations. It sounds kind of fun. Um, the players, it works best with four to six players, one of them will take on the role of the mediator. Sorry guys, you've sinned there against me, because I hate people making up fancy terms for Game Master. Although it does point out, a more generic name for the mediator used in other games is the Games Master. So, they've dialed it back, but I hate where people use fancy names. I didn't like Call of Cthulhu with a keeper, and uh, even Dungeon Master slightly annoys me, but it came first, so it can get away with it. But, you're a game master. Things you need, how to play. Safety tools. It goes into details here about setting boundaries. So, things which players will be unhappy with and ways they can indicate it. So, if you were going to have graphic violence which might trigger somebody who has had that violence in their life. Um, I'm thinking sexual assault here. If you even touched on that, who somebody who's had that in their life, you could damage them. Um, so the game's got built-in ways of just cu shutting that down. If somebody doesn't like something, they can just go, stop, and no questions are asked, you just move on past it. I think a good Games Master should do that automatically, but it's nice to have it written down in the rules. Um, if you are putting something into a game which makes some people feel uncomfortable, a game's supposed to be fun. Uh, don't be scarring your players because you think it'll make a cool and uh, moody adventure. Just back off a bit and let people have fun. It's supposed to be a game. Um, we've got things, the pilots and mechs. In Salvage Union, you play as both your pilot and your mech. So, not only are you the pilot and you've got a vehicle, but you are advancing that mech. The two are kind of bound together. And I like that. So you're not only buying up your character, you're buying up your mech. And a lot of adventures will take part with your player being completely in the mech. Um, you get to choose them. We've got key terms, so systems, modules, structure points, energy points, and explains all those. We've, uh, we've got heat, so it's very similar to Battletech, where using your systems and straining your mechs beyond where they were sort of designed to be will heat them up, which stands a chance of blowing up the reactor. We've got equipment, abilities, hit points, ability points, and stress. And then we've got the first of the character types. So we've got a hauler. And we've got some information in there. And the equipment they carry, their different abilities. And then we've got a mech that they use. The MK8 Atlas. Um, and it's got various, various modules, locomotion systems. 
and its weapons. And the effects of those weapons are there. Then we've got scouts. He's got an antimatter rifle, a grav beam hook, camo suit. And his scout, uh, his scout mech is a TC-40 gopher. We've got the soldier. And his equipment and abilities. And then his mech. Um, flicking back a couple of pages. The TC-40 gopher is designed by Opus Institute. Well, I thought it described the mechs as being scratch-built. But I suppose the designs have to come from somewhere. And you are scavenging bits. Um, I hope it just details that out a bit better in the main rules. Um, we've got the hacker and their mantis mech. The engineer and their magpie mech. The salvager and their jackhammer mech. With a big cutting saw on it. A rigging arm. I really like that. And then another, another lovely piece of artwork. The crawler. So the player's home base in the game. They get on their little mechs and they go out scouting from this, but this is where they take everything back for it to be converted into more useful stuff. This is their home base. So they'll have their friends, their family, their lives, all on this other mech. It's just a bigger mech. And then we've got the rules. So I said I wasn't going to go through these, but we've got things like everybody should roll in the open so you can see your dice, uh, pushing your mech, how it creates heat, how to vent heat, how to shut down the mech to stop it blowing up, pushing your pilot and getting stress of it, and then the different tables, um, initiative systems and ranges, structure points, hit points, critical damage, critical injuries, so both the mech and the uh, character can be damaged, carrying capacities, uh, how salvaging works in play, what happens in downtime, so you can repair your uh, mechs, you can craft, you can customise stuff, you can relax, you can go out and drink. There's a bar on the giant mech. Uh, there's the black market to get parts. Um, this looks more Star Wars-y to me, but I like the idea of a smaller mech, a uh, big uh, mech pack mule. you got 16 tonnes of what you get, 16 tonnes of salvage, that's what? 16 tonnes of sweet tradable salvage. Then we've got Games Master advice here, Mediator advice, going through, some NPC mechs, the special abilities they get, reaction roles, morale roles, etc. Defining all the terms for the Games Master. Then we've got salvage systems and modules, so different stuff you can find when you're salvaging the wasteland. Um, you can salvage other mechs when you destroy them. We've got the different equipments and systems you can salvage, a few pages of those. Um, and then we've got the sample adventure. Uh, obviously, I don't like going into adventures too much. I don't want to reveal any secrets. But the basic setup of it is a air transport ship has crashed in the wasteland from one of the large corpos. It's likely to have good scrap on it. So your team's heading out to get it. You'll maybe rescue the crew because then they can be ransomed back to the corpo in exchange for good tech as well. But there's these savages who live in the wrecked city where it's landed. Plus, of course, the corporation's sending out their own re uh, rescue team. So there's a lot of stuff to go into there. And that's the back cover. So it's a nice game. I like the ideas. Um, the things which really appeal to me. The idea of the player and the mech being one. I actually thought about doing this in a role-playing game many years ago, but never got around to it. I wanted to do a Wing Commander-type role-playing game, where the players and their fighters were one. So, adventures would take part with basically the fighter being the player's body. Um, you would be a character, you'd be in an aircraft, but that aircraft would be everything you do. Um, you'd be using its sensors, weapons... For your entire adventure, basically. I like that idea. And Salvage Union using giant mechs for that. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, the other thing is the setting. I've always loved post-apocalyptic settings. It's where I wrote a game and I've supported that. And I've been thinking about an updated version. But part of what I've been thinking of writing into the background. Was the apocalypse isn't a nuclear apocalypse. It's an environmental apocalypse that we've just worn the planet out too much and 
civilization has fallen because we just couldn't feed everybody. And Salvage Union has very much a tone of that. So to me, it's uniting an idea I had years ago and an idea that's going through my head at the moment, quite up to date, um, and bringing them into what to me looks like a really nice game. So I've supported it in the Kickstarter. Um, I'll be doing more videos on it as it goes on further. But that's a look through the quick start guide. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. So you can check out the Kickstarter. And Panny will be updating that with any further information. And as I know more and as I uh, receive more, I'll let you know. But, as usual, I think I've witted on for quite long enough. So thank you very, very much for watching. But most of all, as always, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.